All right, so, excuse me with the lollipop, but you know, I gotta sweep my day. So we're gonna make uh, one of those videos. No, oh, by the way, yeah, I know I'm sitting here with Fresco and it looks like a parent. Yeah. Parent. Uh, teacher meeting. Parent teacher meeting, but it's not, it's not one of those. He's not a bad kid. Yeah. He just acts bad, but he's not a bad kid. We're doing right now one of those videos, one of those um, how to's, and a few people has asked me for these type of videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, this is for those people that have, like fishing. One of the best ways to fight a fish, especially a big fish, have a rod properly lubricated or maintained. Uh, because you know, salt water does mess up a lot of things. And remember, every time the line goes inside the, uh, it goes in the water and it comes back onto the reel, it brings salt water with it, so. And Fresquito is an expert. He's an expert on maintaining reels. Right, sir? Yep. So we're going to have him show you guys uh, what to do to maintain your reels for a long time for, or, you know, last them. But one of the main things, if you go saltwater fishing, make sure you rinse them. Mm -hmm. Make sure with fresh water, you know, do a good, good rinse. And don't worry about it because they have a lot of good seals. So, it, you know, seals up all the stuff. Uh, so the reel, you can get, you, you can soak it with water. Not dunk it in water, but spray it with water. So right now, he's taking um, drag nut, I guess you want to call it, that if you notice here has grease. I mean, this reel is pretty new, but we have used it a lot and we haven't uh, uh, maintained it or, or, or greased it up. So that's what Farquito is going to do right now. I'm trying to put this to the line. Okay, so now you took out the spoon. Uh -huh. And then what you want to do is scroll this backwards. Okay. So remember the spinning, the handle, Yeah. well, it's reverse thread. Okay, mm -hmm. see, there you go. We just took the, the, the handle off. And what now, I do is take off this side to get to... And that side, though, so that's really what, the, what that is, is, is for the left-handed people, you could change the handle to the opposite side. Yeah. So all, almost side, all, all reels come right-handed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, but those people that are like stronger or like using their left hand, you can switch the handle to the opposite side. That's what that little, little, little nut on the other side is. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is take off all these screws right here, including the little ones near the, the cap right here. And this cap counts as a seal. So when I take it apart, you're going to be able to see it. Hold on. Oh, yeah, and by the way, this is one, uh, this is a pin spinning, spinning reel. Oh my God, I can take it out. There. All these screws. So there he goes. I do I do motor maintenance. Well, I do boat maintenance, and he does uh, the fishing gear maintenance. Well, and something that I learned over the years, uh, and I actually didn't really pay attention to, when you guys buy a rod, make sure it says for use in salt water, mm -hmm. because I've made a few mistakes and used freshwater rods because they basically look the same. And I used it for salt water, and the guys rust up um, and they fray pretty up your, quick. They fray up your line. So you make sure when you buy it, you know, make sure it's it's made for salt salt water, because like I said, I made a mistake and I bought it for fresh water. Just because the rod the rod looked good, oh, it looked similar like the the fresh water, but I didn't read it. I mean, it looked it looked like the salt water. It looked just like it. But I didn't read it so. Something, something to keep in mind. And yeah, this rod here is an ugly stick. We like using ugly sticks, just because because they're, they're really very, very flexible. And so far, they lasted us a very, long, very long time. So, I mean, wish I would have got sponsored by ugly stick, but we didn't. I had to pay for the reel and the rod. Right, um, so I'm just letting you. Know. What I'm showing in this video is just the maintenance wise. Need to use the little screwdriver. And by the way, what what model pin reel is this? The what number is it? It's a thirty. It's a fifty five hundred. It's a fifty. Okay, it's a pin reel spinner, spinning rod. Uh, fifty five hundred. We use it. Uh, is I guess it's considered medium. 
medium because it's yeah. not really big and it's not small. Because like that, depending on the line we put, you okay. can fight big fish. And then right here is a rubber band fish. that creates a seal for us. It's not a rubber band. It's a rubber seal. Rubber seal, same thing. Be careful with that. Yeah, I'm going to need a... A flat screwdriver. Quite a small one. Doesn't... Okay, there it is. It's called uh, it's a uh, rubber, rubber ring. ring. O-ring. Or O-ring. Yeah. All right, and then... What I do is take out a hook and jam the hook in between the edges and lightly tap them with a screwdriver. You don't have a knife? I do not have a knife on hand, but I will try to use this hook, see if I can pry out the edges. So what you do, there's a little fine line between the, the casing of this, and what you do is softly tap it. Don't try to go too deep. And it automatically opens it. And then you should be able to pry it out with your nails. Somehow like this, pull it up, like that, boom. And then you get into the internals. And then you got your grease. Oh yeah, make sure you gotta buy uh, What type of grease is that? Let me see. I don't know. It's, it's, really... it's Most probably it's marine grease. Yeah. Because marine grease, what it is, is it, it, it dilutes, it doesn't dilute as quick and uh in water. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do, I think this part lifts up and you could get into it real good. So what are you doing right now? You're like greasing up all the gears and ball bearings? Mm-hmm. Because that, that will make the reel cast out farther and run smoother and help you fight. It doesn't, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't nice corrode. big glob of grease. Because remember, when you're out in the ocean, there's a lot of um, um, salt salt in the air. And when the salt comes into the reel, it doesn't allow it to move that well. And now I'm just spreading it all out. And then put this back down. A bit there. And then, um, Pretty much, that's basically it. Really, yeah, there's. And then where the. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here in the top part. Yeah, and you could buy the grease, the grease anywhere. Yeah. I mean, anywhere, as long as it's marine grease, is good. Well, this one, this thing is Barkley uh, grease. But All you, right. could, you know, get it in the And then, for this, you're gonna wanna usually put it like near here. It's the way I spread it on this little thing. And you're just about set. All you have to do is poke the whole reel back together, which is pretty simple. Just click it back on there. Put the O-ring back on there. And then one thing with the O-ring, if you, if what you do is the O-ring, they're really, they're really, they're, uh, their circumference is round. So when you take it off and you see the semi squash or semi flat, that means they're not doing their job. So that's when suggestion is go ahead and change it. Mm -hmm. And then he's putting the things back together. So this is really easy maintenance. You know that when you're bored on a weekend or something, you wanna, you know, you ain't doing nothing. You're not going to the sandbar. That's what we're doing. So this is what you do, you know, to maintain your rod. And uh, make sure it's still in working condition. Like that, it'll last for a long time. Because I have pin reels that are 20 years old, and they don't really change that much. And design but that I mean that's that's good that means you know you paid one one price for a long time so if you divide whatever you paid 100 200 bucks for the reel for 10 20 years it's worth the money mm -hmm. you're just lucky you got these reels on black friday oh yeah um, you're putting all the all on these when you and when you put that 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 side housing back together, make sure you guys don't kink the seal around the housing. Mm -hmm. All right, no, don't kill it. Go there. to the next bolt, to there. the top one. Top one, there you go. Because you gotta, you gotta do crisscross, mm -hmm. like a car tire. And then when you do it more or less, you kind of hand tighten it and then you put the rest of the screws and then you go one time around and tighten it really hard. Like that, everything goes down. 
This is pretty easy, easy oh. maintenance. Got the screw. So there you go, dads. If you have a son that's, you know, pretty handy, let him do the work. Let him get greasy. Mm -hmm. Where is the fourth screw? Where did I put the fourth screw? There it is. Found it. Now all I gotta do is teach him how to do an engine overhaul and that's it. So good. All right. Now you go around and you do a one last tighten around the whole thing. Make sure it's tight. Yeah, everything's good. And then, if you want to, you could go ahead and just put a little more grease on this. Make sure it's nice and good. And then, put the seal this side back on this cap. Uh oh. Make sure you uh, you don't don't uh, what do you call it? Thread it crooked. There. I'm gonna make sure this is nice and tight so it's sealed. And turn this back around. And now you put the handle. And remember, it screws in backwards. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, it screws in backwards. This way. Yeah. This reverse thread. And this one you just kinda snug it, you don't gotta kill it. There. Because for the next time you take it apart, you don't not gonna have a hard time. And now you go ahead and put back the spool. Just trying to get it untangled. So this is like I said, this is pretty easy maintenance. Just you know, it's gonna take you about a good 10 to 15 minutes per reel. So, just tighten the drag back in. Tighten the drag. Not too tight. Too tight. Yeah, you wanna have a drag, but not that tight, not that yeah. loose. There you go. And that's it, that was simple. Mm -hmm. So now he has eight more to do. So, let him have fun. And let me know if you guys like these type of videos. I did it because uh, a few people have asked me maintenance videos on the boat and stuff. So I figured this is part of boat boating because it's fishing. So if you guys uh, want more videos like that and fish and, and feature Fresquito doing some kind of work because, you know, teenagers nowadays don't want to work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you guys like this video, let me know in the description. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the description and let him keep to the hair. Here you go, son. Here's the other one. Let him do the other one while I watch.